Good evening, everybody. My name is McManus. We've got ourselves a special little episode here. Um, recommended to me by a friend of the Fat Nerd, because the Fat Nerd is what recommends everything to me. I know this is probably coming out a couple days after after Spooktober Ween, whatever you guys call it. McManus doesn't celebrate that holiday very often. McManus did it once. As a small child, McManus went trick-or-treating as William Howard Taft. And people thought I was the Monopoly guy. Ever since then, McManus has not been a big fan of, of this of this season, of this time. But the fat nerd suggested that I play what he called a spooky game. So we're gonna try out this spooky game here. Stories Untold. Not really sure everything that's involved with it. Going in blind on this one. Kind of like that time that, uh, that, that there was a cow giving birth in the barn and my, and my torch gave out. And by torch, I mean flashlight. Uh, didn't have any batteries at the time. So we, uh, we had to struggle there. So we went in blind, as they say. And uh, after a couple tries, we got it. We got it, yeah. yeah. Uh, still remember the smell. Anyway, stories untold. Episode one, the house abandoned. This should be interesting. Let's, uh, let's, let's click it and rip it. Let's get it going. I've clicked it once, and now it says to start. So now McManus is going to start. Oh, it's fading out, you know, spooky. Oh, that's an annoying sound. Uh... Beeping and noises. Um. That's that's quite annoying, sir. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. All right, here we go. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. It looks like we got ourselves a blinking cursor over here, so I guess I'm supposed to type. Okay. Remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. Okay. Look in glove box. McManus doesn't type very fast. Glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Well, game, if you're so smart, you would think that you would just unlock it for me, but I guess I've got to do everything around here, just like I have to do everything on the farm, too. Oh, Unlock. Where's the K key? No, oh, there's K. Glove. Box. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I don't understand why you don't understand. I said to unlock the glove box. <sighs> McManus is already frustrated with these games. McManus is not a big fan of these typing games. And I can hear the fat nerd laughing now in his recliner back at his apartment with his tiny TV and his anime movies playing. And I don't really Okay, okay. Look, glove box. Oh, oh. Ah, McManus has figured out his first his first puzzle. Yes, McManus feels like a genius now. Ha! Open glove box. Ha ha ha! Yeah, inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Oh well, okay. Um, let's see. Should we? Look at key, okay? It's the key to the house. Well, I'm glad we solved that mystery. I uh, was very concerned that we weren't gonna be able to figure that out, game. Thank you, thank you very much for your assistance. <laughs> All right, well, we had a message from dad, so read message. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Look at message. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Look, note, 
The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. I don't know. I hope it's a, hope it's a new pitchfork or a new tiller for the farm. Cause that's the, about the only thing I would enjoy if you found it in the attic. Let's, uh, let's turn and fire up the generator around back to get the power lines on. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay. I feel like it's repeated itself. So, did I hit the reset button? You have to, oh, it's just re, okay, all right, okay. McManus, McManus is a little slow sometimes, okay? Don't everybody judge me. No, no comments down there about how stupid I am. I'll have the fat nerd delete them. Okay. All right, so we're still in the car. Open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. All right, so they said we gotta go around to the back and get the generator. So go to back yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Yeah, yeah McManus likes good memories, yes. So look at generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Start generator. You switch the generator on, and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Well, a responsible American would leave all the light switches off until power can be restored. That is the smart thing to do. So, we probably just have to go inside and turn on some light switches. Alright. Let's, uh, go into house. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house is grand. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already read this. In front of you is the front door. Yada yada. The arch stretches around the side of the house. Yeah, okay. Open door. Nope. McManus did not type that properly. Open door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Hey! I've got a key because I found on the glove box that I didn't have to unlock. I just had to open. Okay. So, unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Well, that's all you do? Uh, do I? Uh, once again, McManus has to do everything around here. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip switch. I don't know what you are trying to use. Since the dawn of time... Flipping a light switch has been a thing. I don't know why you no-code guys can't figure that out, but it's been a thing forever. You flick the light switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Now, yeah, well, my man might be kind of hungry, so let's, uh... Let's go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Now hang on there, young man. There is no such thing as just a kitchen. A kitchen is an area where you can prepare nightly meals for sustenance. That's pretty important. Don't ever forget that. Kitchens are important. Well, let's go into this utility room. Your toilet room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go hunting. Go to the hallway. You go back out to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. Yada yada yada. Access to the kitchen and living room here. Let's go check the living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. That's it. Look around. 
Nothing here of interest. It's just a living room. Okay. Go back to the hallway. Now brightly lit. And now we're going to go upstairs. Walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Well, all right, let's 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 go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Well, this must be the present my dad was talking about. Uh, although, hopefully, like I said, I hope it's a new pitchfork. I really need one, because I broke one last week. Doing something that, um, well, legally I'm not allowed to discuss, so let's just open the gift box here. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Now I got a prompt here. Press enter to continue. Where's the enter key? Oh, there it is, right next to the any key. There we go. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. Ah, wait, 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 wait through that. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus two computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Well. So on my desk is a Futuro 128K plus two computer with a copy of the house abandoned and I am currently playing this on a, ooh. Well, that's interesting. All right, well, let's set up the computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. Insert game, because that's how it works, right? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Of course you don't, computer. You don't understand anything unless I tell you. Let's play the game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. That! What the? What happened? That, uh, uh, lightning! Oh, lightning and thunder! Uh, uh, guys, how is the TV playing when there is no electro- Oh, it's upside down! Oh, it's- Oh! What is this? You get out? Is that a saying? Get out? And then the noise? And oh... Oh boy. Oh, what's- the Lights are out. Nothing's happening. Um... Uh... Uh, uh, McManus is now currently um, uneased. This is this is not well. This is not well. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Okay, let's uh, open glove box. So there's a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. All right, read the note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out of the car, 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 get out of the car. Oh boy, what's going on here? You pull up the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. Oh, it's the same stuff over again. Oh, this, this is, McManus is, McManus is slightly shivering because this is, uh, this is quite, this is quite un uneasing. Okay, get out. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Well, kind of sounds like a night at the Waffle House. <laughs> That's a little joke. That's a little joke. This is this is incredibly spooky. Um, let's see. Well, in the previous game, we went around to the yard so we could get the generator going. So let's maybe do that. You step through the debris to the backyard. Oh, my. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Let's look around, then. There is an old generator next to you. Look at the generator. The old generator can supply power to the house. Well, no kidding. I mean, I'm 
terrified. Please don't murder me, but kind of knew that. Mr. Mr. Spooky, spooky thing right happening now. Okay. All right. Turn on. Nope. We didn't do that right. Start. Generator. I don't want to piss off the ghost now. There isn't much fuel. But my desk lamp just turned on. But the generator starts up. Okay. So. We've got some light. Went to the front of the house. I would just like to point out also that, um. The set pieces around here are looking kind of odd. This is this is very strange. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. There is no love here, and that very much is true, folks. Right now, there is currently no love in this room. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, front door, front door. The door appears to be locked. Use the key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh my. Never heard the lock of it, the clicking of a door lock hurting to hear. That's that's disturbing. Open the door. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Whoa! Um What? Thump and thuds behind me. We we must keep going though. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Oh, I have to use the light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and trails. Ah, ah, alarms. Noise! Upstairs, the sound of alarm clock bearing. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Um. Uh. I'm gonna go upstairs, make a stop, make a stop, make a stop, make a stop. Uh. trying a bunch of things and nothing's happening. The alarm clock is, is very loud in the ears. McManus is very unnerved and not sure what to do. There we go. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. <sighs> Folks, McManus does not like spooky things. We, we have covered this already at the beginning of this episode. McManus is really, really, really unnerved by this, but we're going to continue going. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Let's see what the note says now. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Oh! The note is bleeding! This is a... That's a turn. McManus would say, that's a turn. Let's, uh... Let's, let's go check out the kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Wow. Let's see what the writing says. Ah! In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Thunder. And there's the number 1986 now on my wall. Yeah, okay. That's, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Okay, let's look at the carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Ooh. Game, you are, you are trying really hard and succeeded extremely well at making McManus scared. All right, let's see here. If you look closer, well, can't tell what it is or what it was. Or writing on the wall. All right, 
this um, open door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. At this point, I don't know if I want to go in there. There's probably something very terrifying back there, like a, like a cow without udders. That's terrifying to McManus, okay? The farm is life. Let's keep going. Step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Ugh. Did I... Did, did McManus... No, we're not going to talk about that. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Okay. Maybe the note says something different now? The note, always changing now, reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay. We're in it, guys. Let's do this. Go to hallway. Return to the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. And I'm not really sure what that presence is. I'm kind of I'm very unnerved right now. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Um, there's... There's noises behind me. Ah, ah, ah! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. What is going on here? Voices spell on the phone to the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. What is... What is happening here? I don't even remember. Um, or I'm, I'm upstairs. Okay. So I go to my sister's room. You can't hear yourself think. It's too much. Hang up the phone. Okay. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Let's go to the sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Oh boy. Go to bathroom? I kind of feel like I need to go to the bathroom right now. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oil and grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Oi. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Look at the tub. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at the tub. That's what I said. But apparently tubs don't uh, didn't exist in 1986. Who knew? A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Can I go ahead and guess that there's nothing happening in the bathroom? You step back onto the landing. Same but different. There's only one more place to go, guys. Actually, before we do that, let's look at the pictures. Everybody likes pictures, right? Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. All right. Here we go, boys and girls, men, otherworldly creatures who may be standing behind me in a moment once I click, once I press this command in. Just know that I am, I am friendly. I mean no harm. And I come in peace. So. Godspeed. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Well, all right. Uh, uh, maybe. Um, 
that's okay. I mean, wow, well, all that suspense and well, let's see. Um, you grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code 1986. The lock clicks open. Okay, now, now the moment of truth. to look behind me. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. What do we do? Well... You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I don't believe you. Like you mean it, please. McManus is kind of speechless, which doesn't happen that often. McManus is known for his words and his orations. That was, uh, that was pretty, that was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive of a do say so myself. I think after that scary moment, McManus is gonna end this episode for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying. Hopefully, hopefully you got some joy out of this. Um, me getting my my myself scared to death because of stories untold. The house abandoned. That was a, that was very well done, guys. Bravo, bravo. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at ccm.studios and say hi to the fat nerd too. And thank him for recommending this. This was pretty fun. This was pretty fun. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again on the spooky side.